In this video, we will talk about the different types of lights and how it's produced. It's basically light from heat energy. If we heat it to a high enough temperature, it will start to glow. We see this type of light every day, like the sun, light bulbs, and if you're in the kitchen, fire, and ETC, etc. Here's a real world example of incandescent light. Yeah. So, yeah. So, oh, we're, oh, try no. we're trying to find yeah. the sun, but, uh, uh, yes. It, it, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. That's the sun. Yep. Totally. That's one example, but what about the other two examples? What? You need another example? <laughs> yeah. Let's get yeah. ciphers. Yeah, let's go. Are you? Oh. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> Fudge. First cake. <laughs> Fudge cake. It's cold. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so. So, uh, we need another example. Yeah, we need two more. You, need, you know, you need two more examples. Uh. <sighs> yeah. That, that's my other example. It's electricity passing through gas. The gas particles can emit light. Lightning is an example of electric discharge because lightning, which is electricity that flows through air and gas. So we will show you a real life example of electric discharge. Ready ma? Of course I'm ready, bro. Okay. One, two, three. Sparks of static electricity is also another example. Okay. 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 Wait, can you see that here? Okay. Chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is when light is produced by chemical reactions. Glow sticks are an example of chemiluminescence light because glow sticks actually have two liquids in them. This is why you have to crack the light stick to glow. When you crack it, the two types of liquids mixes up and creates a chemical reaction, which makes it glow. This is why most people shake the glow stick. It helps it to make the two liquids together faster. So, bioluminescence, the living light, as some people say. This one is pretty simple. I'll give you a few examples first. Um, fireflies, uh, some other insects, some jellyfish, some bacteria, some fungi, some fish, and a lot of other organisms. You get the point, right? Now that you know, what bioluminescence is, here's a real world example. So, I found this amazing spectacular, marvelous, amazing, cool. What is it? Oh, yeah. Ah, it's over there. Let's uh, take a closer look. Stop, he says it's over there. Dude, what's so. Okay, okay. We're chilling this off. Okay, okay. See? Oh. 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 